Some Montana Democrats are claiming that Wednesday's decision is hypocrisy at its finest, saying that there have been multiple cases of rhetoric on the House floor just as inflammatory. Mr. Speaker, 68. Representatives vote aye. 32 have voted no. Motion passes. This is the moment that history was made as Zoe Zephyr became the first representative to be banned from the House floor. But many say that the words that led her not being allowed to speak. If you vote yes on this bill and yes on these amendments, I hope the next time there's an invocation, when you bow your heads in prayer, you see the blood on your hands are no more inflammatory than conversation that happens every week at the Capitol. In California, um, Satanists have stated that it's a religious right to abort their children. That statement was made last month during a committee debate over abortion. Several legislators repeatedly objected to what they called inflammatory language, even walking out on the proceedings. I'm going Senate, to recommend Senate. that the minority not participate in the remainder of this discussion if we are going to Satanism. Thank you. And many were quick to make those comparisons following Wednesday's vote to ban Zephyr. There's a lot of events that happen in not only in this body, but over in the body of the Senate. In the last 21 years, this is nothing compared to some of the events that occurred. We are picking one person in this body for something that she believes is right. But many Republicans say it's about much more than just what Zephyr said. The decision to ban her was not just a reaction to her comments on the House floor, but to her participation in a Monday protest on her behalf. One they say put lawmaker safety in danger. There's a fundamental human principle that each of us are responsible for our actions for ourselves and we bear the consequences of our behavior and our actions. That protest did lead to seven arrests. The disciplinary actions that are proposed from my perspective are reasonable and prudent and the measures proposed ensure the safety of the body and all who participate in the work of the House. In Billings, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.